This is Mary at the Mary Atelier, and I am going to work. I'm going to work on day three, day three of my acrylic April. Now on day two, uh, we had a very busy day on day two. I feel like I did not get a good painting accomplished. I had to quit before I was finished, but I'm going to leave it as it is. This is more of an acrylic painting sketch, and I really feel like this one is too. I don't feel like I am really accomplishing finished paintings, but that's okay. And then again, I am working with this Deco Art paint. It's acrylic paint. It is very nice, but it's pretty thin. Um, I might later on in the month get some tube paint. It won't be expensive tube paint, but I might invest in some basic colors that is not this, this thinner paint. I'm not unhappy with this, but it. Uh, I find that I really have to get more than one coat on here, even with my gesso background, before I'm comfortable working with it. And now I have gone to the Apple Barrel Black and White, which is more of a craft paint. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. And I will be varnishing these. These are not varnished yet. So I will probably varnish them when I have one folio completed. So actually this will not be day three. Let me get out my signatures here. This will actually be day three because I'm coming this way. This is how I'm going through my book. So I could probably go ahead and varnish these two, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to work. I'm just going to work through these. I'm going to work on day three. This is April the 3rd. So I'm trying to keep up. I am, I am. So what am I going to paint today? I'm painting very basic items. It just, it helps me get, it just helps me, well, it helps me with my sketching, but it just helps me not try to do big, beautiful work when I'm not ready to do that yet. Um, yeah, so this is what I'm going to paint. I'm just looking around the house here, around my studio to see things that that I want to paint. I'm going to paint this ball canning jar. It's got broken jewelry in it. Fun. Fun. It opens up here at the top. Now, I probably, yeah, I guess I could get that lid in there with the, it's got a, a kind of a jeweled lid on there. I got it at Hobby, the lid, the the handle at Hobby Lobby. See, I was pulling this out. I was thinking maybe I'll wear this while I'm painting. I do like this. This beaded bracelet is broken jewelry and it's very comfortable. I usually, <laughs> I usually am not comfortable wearing a lot of jewelry. I, I fiddle with it. I fiddle with it and I end up breaking it. <laughs> but this, this is very comfortable on my wrist. So I'm going to keep it on my wrist for now. <laughs> I'm going to roll up my sleeves because, oh, well, you know, I end up getting paint on them. I'm using the same colors. I've, I see some red in here. I will get highlights on my jar. Maybe I'll have a little bit more time to study this jar. It'll be out of your view.
something to call this finished. Now, I see these more as studies. Somehow this does not feel like a complete painting to me, although I'm getting close. Um, yeah, but I'm happy with it. I wasn't sure what I wanted in the background until I thought I need that big black area to push this jar forward. Now, in reality, there would be black showing in here behind the jar. I didn't do that, but this isn't really a realistic painting anyway. This is what, I mean, I, I worked on this for an hour and a half and uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it because I'm thinking about composition. I'm, I could put a little more, maybe I will put a little light streaks on, a few light streaks on here if I can get them on here. Um, maybe in here now well, I'm going to have to get out some white solid white maybe oops that's too much but um, just kind of where the light hits kind of got it up there kind of got it on the lid but I feel like I need something right in here maybe just a little uh just a little where the light is hitting it, just to make it feel like a glass jar. That might be a little much. I don't think I want any more on it. I might put one up here. I got some on the go there. Just knowing that that's where the light is hitting things. That's all I needed. I had all that white paint in there now. <laughs> but you know, I'm just going to swish it on here for my palette. This will be my palette for tomorrow. We'll just paint it out. <laughs> Let it dry. It's getting kind of gunky, but oh well. I'll be changing it here pretty soon. All righty. So, yeah. I feel like there's a lot more that I can do, but this is only day three and I'm having fun and I'm using my colors. I'm thinking about composition. I'm thinking about, um, well, light source. And here I just had the jar and I felt like I needed something else. So I pulled some of the jewelry. This is a bracelet. And look, I put the detail in here, but I left the detail here just kind of to your imagination. This was a sheriff badge belt buckle. <laughs> and I'm still wearing my bracelet. This is a very comfortable bracelet. It's very comfortable. But I should probably take it off now. I'll put it back in the jar when I, or I'll break it eventually. So these are my studies. I'm having fun. It'll be interesting to see where I'm at by the end of April. So thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next page.